वेलकम बैक अगेन गाइस सो दिस इज़ द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट नेम सैलरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कंप्लीट आई विल ट्राई टू कंप्लीट दिस प्रोजेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीटली ओके इन दिस इन दिस वीडियो सो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉज द थ्री पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस सीरीज ऑफ सैलरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम प्रोजेक्ट सो प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियोज बिकॉज इफ़ यू वॉच दैट वीडियोज देन यू कैन रिलेट विद दिस फोर्थ पार्ट ओके सो इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस प्रोजेक्ट डॉट जावा दैट हाउ हाउ दिस जावा इज़ वर्किंग हाउ दिस प्रोजेक्ट हाउ दिस विंडो इज़ वर्किंग नाउ इफ आई क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस मेन्यू एम्प्लॉय एंड इफ आई क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस न्यू एड एम्प्लॉय सो दिस विंडो न्यू विंडो इज केमिंग कम अप सो हाउ दिस वॉट इज द कोड फॉर दिस न्यू विंडो सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू ओके सो द एड न्यू एम्प्लॉय डॉट जावा is here new employee dot java right so we have new employee dot java so whenever we click on the new employee so it this window is come out so what is the working of this window so it is having some labels 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven, seven labels seven text boxes six text boxes and one one but uh, one choice okay one choice okay and uh, one uh, uh, image icon and two buttons so now this is the code for this window this is the code for this window so this is these are the files that we have to import these are the libraries that we have to import because we are using the uh, classes of this uh, of these libraries like sql libraries and uh, swing libraries swing libraries we are using some uh, frames buttons text fields all the things so swing library is very much and sqls every every library is must because every library classes is using in this uh, project in this particular java file so now this is the class name that is new employee and it is extending the j frame i have already already explained why this uh, why we are extending this because if we are not extending this then we can't use the function we can't use the uh, frame the functions of this j frame right so j frame class is having j label j text field j button choice so because of the because we are extending this so that's why we are we can use these uh, these uh, functions these classes of this class right so and now we are implementing this action listener so um, to make any button dynamically show that uh, that a particular button can do something else or some do some specified task so that uh, this action listener interface is implemented in this uh, java class now we have labels we have uh, total seven labels right we have seven labels so l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 l6 l7 tak uh, we have seven labels and we have uh, text boxes six text boxes and one choice that is c1 and one j button uh, j button two two j buttons that is b1 and b2 right very simple then this this is a super and i you know the if you if you have watched the last video then you can uh, understand that what is the work of the super whatever i will write in the super it will be visible at this point right now the set size size uh, where this uh, uh, this window is come out that is the size sorry the size of this uh, uh, window that is x axis x axis and y axis right so 600 is the x axis and 650 is the y axis now location location is where this window is come out whenever we execute this particular uh, new employee dot java so where is this uh, window will be visible on the screen that is uh, decided by this location now now the background uh, background is white so that is, uh, this line is working as uh, making this uh, uh, background as white now we have j panel p1 and p1 is uh, set background as color as white right now p1 i am using the grid layout in this like i have explained to you that we have four types of layout in java grid layout um, flow layout border layout and one more layout so i have using the uh, grid layout in this uh, in this uh, class so l1 l1 is the label label is name and t1 is a text file text field so it is having free 15 character it is maximum having 15 characters now i am adding in, in this uh, j panel i am adding this Uh, add uh, uh, l1 and t1 now same then we have choice you can see now we have choice next 
and we have another table uh, another label that is gender let me minimize it so that you can see it more properly now so this is the choice and uh, we have choice uh, two choices male and female so this is the having some values male and female and l2 is gender and p1 uh, now again i'm adding this uh, l2 and c1 in this p1 panel now again address and address and then j field j text field and again adding and again doing the same thing till phone okay till phone so you can understand it and now we have submit and cancel we have two button that is submit and cancel so and and again this submit and cancel has to be uh, added in this uh, has to be add in this in this panel right now layout set layout layout is border layout okay because uh, now i am using the border layout in this java file now again so the image icon image icon is what image icon is uh, uh, from the system resource so i am using uh, this image from my system resource new employee.jpg uh, and i am setting this image at west point so how i can uh, i can uh, this this is the west uh, west side of this uh, of this panel of this uh, frame right so this uh, image is setting at the left side oh sorry west side right now again now uh, b1 b1 should uh, should do something if i click on uh, on this so that is why it is showing that add action listener and the color is black the background color is black and the foreground color is white so foreground color is nothing but the um, but the text color i can say okay and then same as for b2 now the main thing is action performed this function is very important because if i um, it will take all the data from this text boxes or choices and it will uh, insert the data into the into the database okay into the database so the main thing is here the mind i can say the mind thing is here so string and g so these are the strings so it is taking the data from the uh, text boxes so for the for taking data from the text box we have a function get text so t1 uh, get text will will get the data from this text box and it will copy the data to n string and it will uh, for choice we have the function get selected item and c1 dot get selected item will get the selected item and it will con uh, it will uh, copy to the g string and same for t3 t4 t5 t6 t7 and this we have a query and this is the important because this is the insert query and it will insert this details these uh, strings to the table right now now this is the uh, try and catch for exception handling concept we use try and catch and i am making a object of con class because i have to use my database that is why i am making an object now c1.s.execute update query so query is this and execute update is a function which is having in in s and s is having in a, 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 s is at c1 c1 is the object of con class so and if the query is correct then it will show that employee is created and that uh, particular this uh, project uh, new employee is is disabled because uh, we have added the new employee and if any error is occurred then this catch function uh, this catch block will be uh, will be execute and the main thing that is main function and uh, so after that all the things the main function will call the constructor of this class and uh, basically this class will be visible so this is all for this class i hope you are uh, I hope I have explained this class very uh, in a good flow and uh, I hope you are understanding this uh, this video. So if you have any doubt in this class so you can just comment down and I will ex and I will uh, try to try to reply you and I will try to explain that uh, at what point you are not understanding, right? Now after that so in project the next thing is the next uh, the next uh, item is salary salary entry right so for salary entry we have salary.java so the code of salary entry is salary.java so these are the same files which i have already explained and this is the same class okay same class and uh, same uh, same the details i'm not going to explain it again and again because these are the same thing only i will explain the different things okay so it will set the salary 
it will firstly it will uh, let me execute this particular file so this is set salary this is uh, uh, the super super is having set salary so it is visible at this point and it is having some uh, text boxes and one choice right okay now now in this try uh, try block we have connection and it will check it will go to particular uh, like I have explained you what is the function of result set so it will uh, jump from one uh, column to another column and execute this query select star from employer okay and it will execute this query right now now this add so this is a label select employee id and this is the hra another label another text boxes another label another text boxes another label another text boxes and two buttons we have right so this is the same thing which i have explained in this uh, new employee.java i'm not going to explain it again please uh, so if you haven't uh, uh, if you are not understanding it you can just comment down and i will explain you right now the main thing is this action performed so it will copy the data from the from this text boxes and uh, in the string and then it will uh, it will uh, execute this query this is insert into salary salary is a table name in the database and it will en uh, insert these values these values in the database uh, table salary okay now this is the main function so this is all for this java dot uh, salary dot java now the another thing the next thing in project dot java is is list of employees so basically uh, behind this list of employees uh, there is a uh, select oper uh, select command will be called of sql right so list uh, attendance list employee right so here it is so okay so now we have a uh, view employees list employees right so so these are the same same thing but something different in this file is what i am using a string which is having employee id name gender because i have total one two three four five six seven eight eight uh, columns in my database so that's why that is why i am having eight strings of array right now i'm having a 2d uh, 2d uh, 2d string array why because i am um, as you can see that that uh, these these are the rows and these are the columns right and i how it can be invoked because of 2d array i want to uh, um, it must be a 2d array so that uh, it can take the data from uh, to any row of id column particular column right now this is the super then set size set location then it will uh, firstly uh, it will execute this uh, command select star from employees and this result set will go to particular uh, particular like it will go to the first column and it will take the uh, take the data from the first column and it will uh, copy to uh, that data to the to the i j plus plus so i value is zero and j value is zero right so it will copy the data from the database to this table so this is how this table is working this uh, table is filling right so if you want to print the data so you can print the data as well okay so this is the code for the print okay now action performed now this is the main function okay main function is having the constructor of this list employee.java class right 